Good morning. It's a relatively early morning this morning. Wanted to talk to you briefly about a theme I've seen throughout my life, as well as if I take my most successful clients, I don't necessarily mean just with money, but in terms of relationships, the quality of work they do, the sustainability of it, um, the enjoyment of life. And that is, is they not only don't choose to play the victim, but they teach people around them how to not play the victim. And I see playing the victim all the time in small ways. I see it in neighborhoods where people complain about the cost of water and food and that. And the fact is we live in a pretty good time in history where there's a lot of availability. Um, it's people complaining they don't have opportunities, but they're not willing to learn. Um, they're complaining that a project or something they're working on, somebody's in their way, but instead of going to talk to that person and collaborate, uh, they don't do it. They just talk to other people and complain. It may also be that they're frustrated, upset, and somebody is truly doing harm to them. Um, and it could be intentionally even, but they don't take time to think through what they can do differently because they can control what they do. They can't control what other people do to go interact and change the game. Um, it could be to get into a completely different game. could be to kindly uh, confront the person and have a deep conversation that brings value to both of them, where maybe they have a chance of resurrecting uh, not just the relationship, but the results it's supposed to uh, develop. I think this is important because one of the biggest things we do when we're working with a team of people, uh, we're doing executive coaching strategically or tactically, uh, that's one of the biggest things we see people walking past that they need to do is don't be a victim. Go do something about it. Um, and they'll appreciate it most of the time for doing something. Thank you for your time and good morning.